part two. Now I've got all of my papers that I've printed in part one and as it's nearing Christmas I'm going to make some little gift tags and some gift boxes so I've got some here that I've already done. Now things like this are fairly straightforward to put together once you already have your papers. So here I've cut out some flowers using a, um, a Tim Holtz die and just simply mounted it on a tag with quite a bit of stitching and this one also. And this is a gift box, and this is a straightforward origami gift box. There's loads of instructions online for putting something like that together. But look how it's transformed by just cutting patterned paper panels for each side and a little gift tag to match. I'm going to make another tag. I've cut myself a tag using craft. I'm going to layer some of my coordinating papers and then add um, a stamped image. To put together my tag, I've got a few pieces ready. So my coordinating papers, I've cut a larger piece and then these are slightly wider just so they overlap a little bit. I'm going to overlap these then another piece of the cream along here and I might just stitch those. Before I do I want to add a little bit of white pen though and I've stamped my image. This is uh, an image by me for Carabelle Studio and I've stamped her onto some of the paper and cut her out so that I don't have to colour her in, she's already got the matching colours so that she can sit on that tag. And before I stick anything down or start stitching, I'm just going to use my white pen and I'm just going to enhance the pattern that is already there, so those spirals that I did on the gel plate. I'm just going to pull those out a little bit. I'm also going to ink all edges before I stick anything together. Always looks better when you get those edges finished off. I've pieced together my pieces of card. Now I've just stuck them a little bit because I'm going to stitch and it's much easier to stitch something when it's already held in place. Of course stitching is always optional but I just like the look of it. So I'm just going to run some stitching along these edges and then eventually mount it onto the tag with a little image, I know she's headless at the minute, and it will all start to come together. I'll just show you now how that's all stitched down, and I've just kind of stitched around just to frame my image, added my cord and I'm just going to add a little bit of glitter, and then I'm calling that one done. Once you have your own papers, there's so much you can do with them, especially when you pull up coordinating prints. So here's just a few of my tags and little gift boxes ready for the holiday season. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.